Welcome to this teacher tutorial where I'll describe the basics of a great online teacher tool in around five minutes. At the end of this tutorial, you'll be ready to begin using this tool in your classroom. Today's teacher tool is Schoology.com. Schoology is a course management system that allows you to create, manage, and share academic content. Let's get started. When you first enter the Schoology.com website, up in the top right hand corner you'll find a blue button that says sign up. Clicking on it will give you three options to sign up as an instructor, a student, or as a parent. The instructor tab will ask for some basic information, name, email address, a password that you'll use. It will not ask for any payment information because Schoology is a free site to use. Students and parents will both be asked for an access code. I'll show you where you can find that in just a moment. I'm going to log in with a username and account that I've already created. It's already open up here. And when you log in, you'll be taken to the main Schoology page, the home page. And one of the main reasons I chose to use Schoology over some other options is that Schoology looks and acts very similarly to Facebook. So the introduction to my students was really easy because it was similar to something that many of them, most of them, already used. Some tools or features to be aware of on the main page of Schoology. You have a button here labeled Courses. You can see several courses that I've already created. There's a Groups tab that allows you to connect with people with, with similar interests or similar areas of study. I've used it to connect with other teachers on Schoology to get information or ideas for my own classes. The Resources tab allows you to view resources that you've uploaded, documents and images and maps, as well as resources uploaded by the rest of the Schoology community. Another really important tool, one that I've definitely used a lot, way down at the bottom, is a help button that allows you to search for help with a whole variety of issues. Um, definitely a useful tool. For this tutorial, we're going to create a new course. You can do that by clicking on the Courses tab, and then selecting create in the bottom left hand corner. A window will open up here asking for some course information. We'll give it a name. You can give it a section number. I have normally used just the course year for the section number. Give it a subject area and a grade level as well and select create. In a moment we'll see the course page. Uh, this is the main page that both you as a teacher and the students in your course will use to access course information. A couple little features to point out. You can add a picture that defines your course. For example, for my U.S. History class, there's a picture of the Statue of Liberty for the course picture. Down here in this green box is the access code. We saw that earlier. Uh, that's the code that the students will need in this case. This is the student access code that will allow them to enroll in your class. If you have a student who's using an already existing Schoology account, they can join your class with that same code right here under the Join button. Over here we also have the members of the course. Once students enroll in your class, you'll see a list of all of those students on the Members page. And over on the right hand side is where you can find the parent access code. You won't be able to do this until after students enroll in your class because Schoology actually generates an individual parent access code for each student. That allows the parents to gain access to their students information, uh, their students work and progress in your class without seeing anyone else's information, any other students information. Go back to the course page here. And you can always get back to an individual course by clicking on the name at the top of the screen if you're already somewhere within that course. Or under the Courses tab, you can get to any of your courses. On this main course page, you'll find uh, the various tools that you as a teacher and your students will be using. There's a place to upload assignments, create tests and quizzes, upload files or links to different online tools. You can even create discussion forums for you and your students. Today we're going to take a look at the Assignments tab. If I click on it, you can see since we just created the course, there are no assignments right now. 
but over on the right hand side we can add one. After clicking to add an assignment it's going to open up a window to allow you to create the assignment and put the necessary information into the assignment. We're going to create a little sample here, give it a name, you can give it a description that may include the steps to the assignment, uh, the various instructions for your students. Another tool that I use pretty regularly, there's a button here to create a link to a, to a website. Uh, if I need my students to go to a website to read some information or to view a video possibly, that's where I'd add that information. You can also add a file. Possibly you have a, a Word document or a PDF that your students need to access in order to complete the assignment. We'll give it a due date. You can set the number of points it's worth. You can create different grading categories. Possibly you have a homework category, a writing category, a reading category. And another really important tool, right now you can see this button is highlighted, meaning that the drop box is enabled. That will allow students to submit their work online. We'll go ahead and create that assignment. And you can see right here our created assignment. Students will also see that if they go to our home page. So when they first log in, over on the right hand side, there's a list of upcoming assignments that are due or upcoming, uh, you could have tests there or meeting dates or any variety of things. So you can see right here when students log in, any student that's a part of this class will see our first assignment already uploaded. We'll go ahead and click on it and we'll see the description that we created. Students will also see a big gray button right here that allows them to upload their completed work via the Dropbox. When students upload their work, the teachers page will have a list of all students who've uploaded their work, the date and time that they uploaded it. You can view it and grade it right on Schoology. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. I hope many of you are able to use Schoology in your classrooms. It's definitely been a huge help in my own classes. Uh, if you have any further questions, I'd be more than happy to help you. You can contact me on my website, through my email, or my Twitter account, all three of which are right here on this page. And check back soon for more teacher tutorials.